Hey crew, this week we're taking an in-depth look at the Rotobrush tool in After Effects, as well as going behind the scenes for Indie Machine's premier five-word film called Cardboard Robots Battle in Space. Let's get started. Face it, Eric. You're just like Luke at the end of Empire. You think you're ready to take on Papa Vader, but you're not. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pop FX, the show that teaches you how to create some of the most popular digital effects from your favorite movies, TV shows, and video games. Fans of the show will notice that I took a bit of a extended hiatus. Animate Systems on YouTube says, rest in peace, Garrett. I'm not dead. Savvy Citizen 51773 says, What's up, G? Haven't seen a vid since November 1st. You okay? Well, I'm not dead, that's for sure. And even Shadow Productions asks, What are you fing dead? Christ, guys, I'm not dead. I've just been given a lot of great opportunities and I've been working on some really awesome collaborative projects as a freelance editor type person. Yeah. One of those projects we're going to be looking at today, and that is from the production company, Indie Machines. For those of you who don't know, Indie Machines is a production company that transforms your five word ideas into actual movies. So what that means is you can go onto their YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, or even give them a little jingle jingle on their voicemail and say something like, banana attack monsters in bed, or shark bites off man's head, or pink poodles destroy the world. Five words. And then those five words can actually be turned into a real video. It's pretty amazing stuff, right? So get on that. And don't worry, I'll wait. Am I good? But anyways, Indie Machines came to me and asked me to do some VFX work for their video Cardboard Robots Battle in Space. And through the process of working on their project, I learned a lot about the Rotobrush tool. And it just, you know, it, it, it teaches you to not lose your mind and punch a giraffe in the throat. And you too are gonna learn the ways of the Rotobrush in three simple steps. Step one, evaluate your scene. Step two, select your subject and step three, refine your settings. Step one, first let's take a look at what type of scene we're dealing with here and what all needs to be done. Here we see Justin delivering his famous Papa Vader speech and obviously the green screen needs to get keyed out in order to use it in the final composition. However, looking closer I notice the amount of green spill that is on Justin's jumpsuit and helmet here. Meaning, any normal chroma key effect would eat away at the image to the point that it would not be usable. So instead, I thought I could cut around the green screen using the roto brush and later apply a simple hue and saturation effect to take out the green spill without deteriorating the image. Now, to get started, Set your source clip to the beginning of the timeline, double click on it, then select the Rotobrush tool here and you're ready for step two. The way the Rotobrush works is by going over a section, clicking, and sort of coloring in a crude form inside what you want selected with this green color. When you let go, you see the Rotobrush deciphers color and shape and makes what it feels is an appropriate estimate to what you were aiming for. Then, just keep coloring with the green until you collect everything you want. However, say you color too much, or the Rotobrush chooses an area you don't want one, like here. Then simply hold down the Alt key, your brush turns to a red for negative, and then go over what you don't want selected. Simple as that. Before we start to go through the entire source clip with the rotor brush, take notice of this bar here. It indicates how long the rotor brush will estimate your subject before needing to be reselected. If the bar doesn't reach the end of your source clip, simply grab the end and drag it to match the length. Once you're all set, you can hit the space bar to have your clip start playing through with the rotor brush working its magic. As it goes through, it may lose track of the main subject, in which instance just stop or go back to make the proper adjustments with the red and green selectors. Repeat this process until you're all the way through the clip. Step 3. When you're finished, it's time to clean up the mat a bit by playing with your settings. First thing I also like to do is select Refine Mat. By doing so, this helps reduce any chatter and accommodates for any motion blur or quick movements where the edges need to be smoothed out. In the alpha view, I can see I still need to clean up the edges a bit, so I head over and increase the smoothness to about 5, increase the feathering a bit, and even play with the choke, which basically shrinks the overall mat. So maybe take that to about 5 or 10% at most. And that's it! You now have a cleaned up rotoed image to work with and add into your final composition. Additionally, what is Pop Effects without some digital cookies you can munch on, am I right? So if you want, you can head over to this link here and get yourself some nice outer space images to add to your intergalactic projects, image galleries, or any other way you fancy. Enjoy! Thank <laughs> you.
Kyla's making me get rid of this portal gun. Wait a minute. Yeah? You got a package. A, a package? What the heck? Oh, a portal gun. Cool. Sweet. It smells like South Korea in here. Is that kimchi? Yep. There is Elijah. Elijah? Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Time to get out of here. Can't go fast enough. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hey crew. Looks like it's time for me to go back to America. And well, I wanted to thank you for watching this whole time I've been here in South Korea. Expect some new action-packed digital effect little videos very soon. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Garrett, are you all packed? I'm all ready for an excruciating 19 hour flight home. Garrett? Garrett? Son of a bitch.